What's up guys, you saw the title to this video, we are cooking lobster rolls with a healthy twist. You're going to want to stick around to the very end of this video. What's up guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Evan Williams, if you are new, and in this video I'm going to be sharing a very easy recipe with you on how you can make lobster rolls, how you can do it, it's very simple, it's a very easy dish, it's a very sexy dish to make, my wife absolutely loves it, my family absolutely loves it when I make it. Let's dive right into this video and show you how to actually do this thing. All right, so I'm going to drop the ingredients and the directions down in the description box below. But for this recipe, you're going to need mayo, of course. I chose to do vegan mayo, and that's the healthy twist that I talked about in the beginning of this video. I'm doing it with a vegan mayonnaise, just something I just wanted to do and want to try out. Just do it a little healthier. But I promise you, you will not be able to tell the difference if you cook it exactly the way that I'm gonna show you in this video. You will not be able to tell the difference whether you use regular mayo or if you go ahead and use the vegan mayo. It really doesn't matter. Choose whichever mayo you want. You can choose light mayo, vegan mayo, regular mayo. It does not matter. Get yourself your favorite mayo. Add it to this recipe. Next, you're gonna need some celery. Get you some fresh dill, some fresh chive, some fresh parsley. Chop all of it up, you can do it whichever way you want. I decided to pour it all in my processor, my Ninja processor. It was a super easy, simple way for me to do that. And this recipe, you know, civically, I ended up finding some chopped up celery. Saved me time, I didn't really want to chop it up. But you can chop it up if you want to be, if you want to be Chef Boyardee, you want to chef it out. You can go ahead and chop all of that up and throw it all together because you just really want to get a mixture base here like you see on the screen. The other ingredients for the remaining of this recipe is going to be lemon juice. You can use a regular lemon and squeeze it out or you can get lemon juice like the kind you see here in the video. It does not matter, both will work the same. And you're also going to need seasoning of choice. Of course, you know I got that Obey. That's probably going to work the best in this recipe. But you can use whatever you whatever floats your boat if you like it a little spicier. Go ahead, do your thing, do you, do what's going to work for you. But this is what I use in this recipe, and, and these are the seasonings and flavors that I feel work the best. It balances out the best, and it blends very beautifully to the palate. So why you so why you blend in all of your you know all of your you know all of your green ingredients that that is in this recipe? You want to go ahead and get you some boiling water. Go ahead and throw those lobsters in the water. Let them boil. Now this is how I chose to make it. There are different ways that you could do it. Now, if you want to do it on a grill, if you want to do it outside, I would just, I would say, I mean, that could work, but I would just caution you to be careful to make sure that not too much smoke gets into your actual lobster because this could kind of, this can kind of tamper with the flavoring of the actual lobster roll, which you don't want to do. You want to really highlight that lobster flavor and the flavors that's coming off from the mayo base that you're gonna, the mayo base seasoning that you're gonna use. So if you decide to grill it, just be careful. I did it in water, steamed it right over water. It doesn't take long. You can go ahead and put that in some water and let that work, let that boil. It's not gonna take you, not gonna take, not gonna take long at all, depending on how much lobster you have. But you can go ahead and do that while you are actually getting all of this together. Once you have all of your fresh dill, your parsley, and your chive well blended together, well chopped up to the way you have your celery chopped up. What you want to do is you want to put all of this into a mixing bowl and you want to start to blend it with your mayo. Now, how much of this you're going to need as far as mayo, the, the, the chive, the, the parsley, the dill, is really going to depend on one taste and how much lobster meat you actually have because you're actually going to be dipping the lobster meat into this base but you want to flavor this you want to season this to taste so as you see in the video you want to go ahead you want to mix everything together you want to go ahead and create a base consistency now the consistency let it be whatever however, however you want play around with it you might want it looser you might want it to be thicker however you choose to do it this, I promise you, this recipe is extremely forgiving for flexibility. You could be extremely flexible with this. You could do this exactly the way you want to do it. However you want to do it, you mix all of this in together. Go ahead and incorporate that. As you see, I'm pouring a obey down in there. And I'm just stirring it up. You know, getting it, you know, messing around with the flavors. Getting it to where I want. You know, make sure you have used some spoons, multiples that you can taste. Don't use the same spoon. Don't double dip it. 
but you want to taste it as you go and make sure that the flavor is right for you and keep going into that flavor is right and like i said you might want to use other flavors or other seasonings that's perfectly fine use what's going to float with you and what's going to work the best for your palate so once you've gotten that all mixed in together you want to go ahead take that lobster out and start to deshell it all once you deshell it all give it chop it up into like bite sizes you know small sizes like bite size and you want to just put the lobster meat down in there put it down in there mix it all together make sure that that the lobster is 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 mixed and well incorporated into your mayo base and that's pretty much it and then you want to actually use the bun so the buns that i used here was i used brioche buns i love brioche buns my wife and i we like those buns however if you don't do bread or if you're somebody who doesn't eat bread this will work with just about anything my mom i made these for my mom here a month ago she used some like vegetable wraps like bread wrap like it wasn't bread but it was like a vegetable wrap that she had and she said that it was absolutely the bomb so this will work out as flexible as you want if you know if you if, if you don't if you don't you don't eat bread your girl don't eat bread your man don't eat bread if you just want to do this differently you can do this however you want but for the purpose of this video i took a brioche i took a brioche bun you butter it with some butter you know you put the butter on it and what you want to do is you want to actually toast it so if you got a toaster if you got like a conventional oven you could put it in that i put it under my stove and I allowed that to toast. Not long because it will burn <laughs> if you do it that way. So you wanna keep an eye on it. You probably only need like maybe like 30, 45 seconds to a minute just to let that toast. And you know, once that's toasted, then you wanna go ahead and put your, you know, go ahead and plate it, put your lobster meat in there. And you can serve this with your favorite chips. I, but I decided I wanted to do this with barbecue chips. I got the Jay's barbecue chips. I went ahead and poured me up a glass of wine, cause why not? My wife and I were celebrating the anniversary, and we went out to a really dope restaurant. Had a great time, but this was the next day, more chill. We made these lobster rolls. We just kind of had something at home, just chilling. But there you have it, guys. That's the lobster roll. Like, try this recipe out. I promise it will not disappoint you. If you like lobster, if you want something that you want to do like i said it's the absolute perfect date lunch date type of meal now here's how you actually incorporate this into a date so using this as a date idea i would personally do this as a picnic i would do this as an outdoor picnic women dig a lot of women dig the idea of going on picnics you know some don't but you can find especially during this time picnics is something that's really cool it's a change of pace it's different you can do this outdoor picnic this is also something really dope to do as like a picnic on the beach really really cool idea something that'll that'll that, that'll work out you know like here in chicago we have the lake you could do it there on the lake that's something really cool to do and like i said she's gonna absolutely she likes lobster she's gonna absolutely love these lobster rolls i promise you that this lobster roll is gonna get you a lot of brownie points because when she bites down as you can see when i i'm tasting this lobster roll the flavors the like the blend of everything, the, the way everything comes together, it, it just, it's just gonna really touch your soul, it's gonna bless you. So, when your girl, or when the girl you're interested in, or man you're interested in, when they taste this lobster roll, they're gonna absolutely, you're gonna get that same reaction, and that's gonna work in your favor. So this is how I would do this as a date. It's also very, it's also very affordable of a date to do. You know, you can, get lobster tails at you know most local grocery stores for about 9.99 a pound most places you know i'll post some prices somewhere in the video or in the description box just so you can get an idea you only really need maybe like um two or three maybe four lobster tails at the most and that'll make you about three to four sandwiches if you only want to make like two sandwiches which you know if you're you're making like a nice size you know lobster roll these are pretty filling you probably you probably can get away with like two tails you know and maybe a couple claws and that that doesn't have to be expensive so you can do this relatively inexpensively and it could still be a very well thought out date it could be something that could be really cool something really different 
All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for hanging with me, checking out this recipe. Go ahead and make this lobster roll, even if you're just making it for yourself. Tell me what you think of it. Let me know if you have any suggestions, anything you might change, or if you make lobster rolls. Tell me how you make your lobster roll. You might be a little bit different. We're always looking for new ways to do things. I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me. Remember, you're only one choice away from changing the entire trajectory of your lives. I'll see you guys in the next video.